Sarodai. Good afternoon. I'm Siti Norab Sajusra, and thank you for joining me on Bizliners available on the hour right from the capital. Now, Iskandar Investment Mall's asset sales limit advertisements of unhealthy food for children. But before those stories, let's have a look at the Malaysian bars. Share prices on Bursa Malaysia were in the red at mid morning trading Friday as profit taking emerged. As at 11.01 a.m., the FTSE Bursa Malaysia at the MKLCI dip of 4.04 points to 1,648.71 after opening at 1,652.47. The finance index lost 18.31 points to 15,126.7. Industrial index eased 5.86 points to 2,701.47. And the plantation index fell 42.22 points to 7,000. 957.42 the FBM Emas index shed at 22.64 points to 11,183.84 FBM mid 70 index declined 9.52 points to 12,082.61 and the FBM ACE lost 12 and a half points to 4,127.23 losers led gainers by 247 to 153 while 240 counters were traded unchanged and 1,008 untraded and 29 others suspended. Turnover stood at 252.76 million shares worth of 207.96 million ringgit. Among actives, uh, Asia Media rose at 3 cent to 45.4. Karam Bonai earned 1 cent to 12.5 cent. Tiger Synergy added half a cent to 33 cent. And Luster Industries was flat at 10.5 cent. Of the heavyweights, Maybank was down. 2 cent to 9 uh, ringgit of 5 cent. Asiata fell 3 cent to 9 ringgit 50 cent. Simon Darby was 1 cent lower at 9 ringgit 13 cent, while CIMB was flat at 7 ringgit 57 cent. Now, and it's time for technical stock picks for the day. Let's have a look. have a look at some news in brief NTT company licensed to launch network services in Vietnam NTT Communications NTT Com announced recently that global data services JSC 
GDS, a joint venture between NTTCOM and Vietnam Post of Telecommunications, has begun offering a wide range of domestic and international network services in Vietnam. It is after the company becoming the first foreign capital enterprise to obtain a telecom network license from the Ministry of Information and Communications on November 26. Together with the sales subsidiary NTT Communications Vietnam, the NTT Comma Group is now offering a total information and communication technology or the ICT services to companies in the country. Right there, SCOMI Engineering Berhad SEB forces Indonesia. SCOMI Engineering Berhad SEB forces Indonesia as another potential market for monorail projects. SCOMI Group's Chief Operating Officer of Transport Solutions, Kanin Sangvilupile, said besides Jakarta, mayors of other cities in Indonesia have visited the monorail services in Kuala Lumpur and have invited SCOMI to do presentations in their respective places. Right there, that is all that we have today for this edition of Noon at the Capital. I'm Siti Norabsa Joshua. Thank you for watching.